It was listening to Philadelphia Phillies baseball broadcast while he was growing up that convinced Bill Schoening he wanted to be a sports broadcaster. After graduating from the American Academy of Broadcasting, Bill got his first radio job in Illinois, later moving to La Mesa and then Huntsville, where he called football, basketball, and baseball games for Sam Houston State University. In 1989, Bill was hired by the University of Texas at Austin, working as a color analyst for Longhorns football and basketball, later moving into a play-by-play -play role. He also handled play-by-play -play duties for Longhorns baseball games for 12 years while in Austin and hosted sports talk shows on KLBJ and KVET. The San Antonio Spurs basketball team hired Bill to do play-by-play -play in 2001. But because of overlapping seasons, he called games for both the Longhorns and the Spurs that fall. Bill is now in his 21st season with the Spurs, having worked over 2,000 consecutive games. Over the years, Bill has called games for the National Football League and Major League Baseball, along with arena football games. Bill has been honored four times with the Associated Press Top Texas Play-by-Play -play Award also winning the 2014 Texas Sportscaster of the Year Award from the National Sportscasters and Sports Writers Association. Bill has released a number of CDs containing his original songs and published the book, Stories, Sports, and Songs, Tales and Tunes by a Play-by-Play -play Lifer. And today, Bill Schoening joins the ranks of hundreds of esteemed Texas broadcasters in the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. First of all, I'd like to thank all of my colleagues who took the time to vote for me for the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. When an award or a special honor like this comes from your peers, it makes it even more special. Radio, like for many of you, was a very important part of my life growing up in the 60s. I had a little transistor for top 40 music during the day and for sports broadcasts at night. In 1969, while listening to Byram Sam call a Phillies Giants game from the West Coast, I made up my mind that night. That's what I wanted to do, play-by-play -play on the radio. I wanted little kids to fall asleep listening to my voice. My career started 10 years later in a small town in the Midwest, but there wasn't enough sports to broadcast at that station. So a year later, I accepted a play-by-play -play news position at KPET in La Mesa, Texas. After three years of calling a ton of football, basketball, and baseball games, I got my first college play-by-play -play gig at Sam Houston State University in Huntsville. There, I covered the university's athletic department and the Texas Department of Corrections. I covered 29 lethal injections for the Associated Press. I was actually at an AP convention in Odessa, introduced as the voice of death in Texas. After six years at KSAM, I got a huge break. I was hired to be a full-time sports reporter at KLBJ in Austin, and that coincided with my stint on the Texas Longhorn Radio Network. I had the opportunity to call UT football, basketball, and baseball for a dozen years. Then one day in 2001, out of the blue, the San Antonio Spurs called and basically made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Well, 22 years later, I'm still with the Spurs and their flagship station, the Blowtorch, 1200 WOAI. In my time with the Spurs, they've had the best winning percentage in the NBA and have won four championships. Needless to say, I've been incredibly blessed on this journey. I'd like to apologize for not being there in person, as the NBA schedule makers forgot to check with me before they scheduled the Spurs to play in Denver tonight. I hope to attend a future induction ceremony so I can visit with all of my radio friends and colleagues. This is truly a great honor, and I am very thankful. Congrats to my fellow inductees. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks again.